What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the top three stocks to watch for this upcoming week. Now, all of these companies I'm gonna be covering, they're in the healthcare biotechnology sector and they have FDA related news coming out this upcoming week. We're gonna be looking at what is the ideal price point to get involved in these companies and what is going to be the potential move that can happen either to the upside or to the downside. I'm also gonna be going covering the top stocks that are gonna be reporting earnings for this week. We have a few companies that are reporting IPOs, and I'm also gonna go over important economic reports that we need to pay attention to for tomorrow that could potentially affect the stock market either to the upside or to the downside. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video, all this information coming up. All right guys, so before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. All right guys, so the first company we're gonna be looking at is gonna be CBAY. Now, this company has FDA related news coming out on August 27. They're gonna be reporting a phase two open label data. They're gonna be presenting at EASL on August 27. So we're definitely gonna see if the stock can potentially react to the upside or to the downside. As you can see on their site, they're mainly focused on developing and providing access to innovative therapeutics. And they also work on improving the lives of patients with liver and other chronic diseases. So that is basically their focus of this company is to provide solutions for people that are affected with cancers. Now let's look at the potential for this company when we look at the fundamentals and the technical. So as you can see, the share outstanding for the company is 68.89 million shares. The share of the float is 64.17 million. And institutions own 86.6% of the shares available. So that is a good thing to see. And the important thing you can look at is this company can definitely make significant moves you see these huge gap ups you know gap downs that happen you know sometimes you don't want to get caught up in this huge gap down but if you are on the right side you can definitely take a huge advantage and make a lot of profit if you caught this move to the upside so this is just like the mcrb that we just saw a few weeks ago and that is the same type of move but however you know the, these moves might not happen that often but as you can see, the current price for this company is currently trading at $6.46. And the area that we can definitely use as support to get involved in is gonna be $6. So if price can definitely pull back the $6, or if you wanna get involved in it right now, we can risk the $6 price point area as a support, you know, in case price goes down below $6, you know, that's gonna be a warning sign for us, you know, maybe to close out our positions or to lower our position size, you know, so, and also instant cider ownership is only 0.62% and the short float people that are betting against this company, it's only 15.28% of the current shares available. So, and also on a daily basis, the stock moves 52 cents either to the upside or to the downside. And it had a really, really fantastic move in 2020, as you can see, the stock is up significantly. It used to be trading at some point below a dollar, like right above a dollar, and it made a significant move. Right now, it's currently sitting for the year 282% to the upside. So that is really, really fantastic. So we'll see if we can potentially break out of the seven dollars. You know, if we get involved in it right now, the ideal price target for this company is definitely going to be if we can break out of this resistance area that it has over here of seven dollars and it can potentially push up you can definitely lock in your profits when it breaks out you know so i don't usually try and want to hold these companies after they break out usually that's the sign you know to get out of it because they can definitely pull back significantly guys so now let's move on to the second stock guys all right guys so before we run second stock guys make sure you smash the like button if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe if you have any questions drop in the comment section below the second company you're going to be looking at is going to be ticker symbol adap they are going to do a phase one presentation at ilc between august 27 to 28 so the stock can definitely react either positively or negatively depending upon what they say if the presentation went well or not that can affect the stock price depending upon what they decide to release to the public so as you can see over here, the company also reported their earnings reports and they're working on advancing T-cell therapy through world-class expertise. And you can also visit their website to do a lot of research on these companies to dig to their financial earnings there. If you wanna see their release, the press release that they released right now, some of their SC filings, you can definitely find them. And some of the clinical trials they're undergoing right now are all presented on their website. So you can definitely do further more research on this company. But now let's look at exactly on the technicals and the fundamentals of this company if we decide to get involved in it so as you can see over here this company also makes significant moves as you see these huge gap ups 
and you know these huge moves within one day that this company makes so that is fantastic if they release positive press releases we better expect there's going to be significant moves happening so that's why i kind of like this company and as you can see institutional ownership of this company is also 89.3 percent and the share outstanding is 137.12 million however the share of the float is 11.2 so this is going to be the important thing that we need to pay attention to because even though they have a lot of share outstanding there's only 11.2 shares available for the public to get involved in this company so it's relatively low float stock and insider transaction also is down minus 80 percent and institution transactions is up 43.98 percent you know so that is good to see and on average you know the stock moves 57 cents up or down on a day so that is good to see too now the other important thing that we need to look at to see is it what is going to be the price area that we can risk off of if we decide to get involved in this company so it is definitely holding you know the eight dollar price point over here and there's a huge gap up that can potentially be filled so that is something that is we need to pay really pay attention to because if price decides to go down you can definitely go to the six dollars so if it decides to collapse and within the past few weeks it's trending to the downside so if we do not actually see a breakout happening around 8.50 or nine dollars this stock can definitely the price target is definitely going to be six dollars to pulling back all the way to six dollars but if they say positive things about you know some of the phase of presentation they do about this drug and if there's a lot of optimism that can come from that presentation you know the stock can definitely go to twelve dollars going to be the first price target that we can definitely expect and also if the minimum it can go to ten dollars so however it's still on phase one so really not that much of expected for this company to move that much but you never know with these you know pharmaceutical companies because if institutions to see to buy in these companies they really look at the potential of these phase one phase two trials so they can anticipate okay if they have a very solid phase one trial they can have very solid phase two then phase three so they can position themselves expecting that this drug that can potentially they're trying to pass with fda is going to get approved and that can help the company drastically so that's why we need to pay attention to it right now what they say on the phase one trial so now let's move on to the third company guys so before we the third company guys and make sure you smash the like button and you have any questions any comments make sure you drop it in the comment section below guys so the third company we're going to be looking at is going to be ticker symbol vktx now i like this company based off of the technicals and also you know some of the fundamentals that i've seen there's definitely potential for this company. It's about my favorite out of, out of all these three stocks. So on August 28th, face due additional data due at the EASL on August 28th. So that is fantastic. And the drug they're trying to pass through FDA is going to be what's called an AAFLD VK2809. So that is going to be the drug they're trying to pass. And as you can see, they are developing noble therapeutic for met metabolic and endocrine disorders. And that is their main goal for this company as they actively work on to find solutions for this disorder. So, you know, so the other important thing that I really like about this company, as I mentioned, is like the technical. It looks like the stock is going to be breaking out pretty soon. It's been testing the seven, you know, almost the eight dollar area significantly multiple times. And it's been pulling back as you, as you can see over here. We got like one, two, three almost four times you know one time in the past it broke out and went to close to nine dollars but it's definitely been testing there's a lot of resistance over here at nine eight dollars you know so if it can break out it can go to eight ninety or close to nine dollars but it's definitely trying and it's definitely trending to the upside but let's look at you know some of the fundamental information about this company and as you can see the institution ownership of this company is 57.2 percent of the share of this company is held by you know institutions and the share outstanding for this company is 72.49 million shares and the share of the float for the and the share of the float is 63.36 million and insider ownership is 10.98 percent so that is great to see and as i mentioned the stock is trending to the upside we can definitely going to be using you know the seven dollar as a support area over here and we can also use seven dollar and fifty cent area as support and we can anticipate if they have a really solid information that release the stock can potentially break out and if it breaks out and consolidates above the eight dollar area we can definitely use that price point also as a support you know so but definitely going to keep an eye on the stock for a potential breakout but this is kind of my my favorite out of those three stocks 
and on a daily basis the stock moves you know 30 cents either to the upside or to the downside so we're definitely going to keep an eye on the ktx for august 28 so we also have another company that we i covered which is lpcn they're going to have on august 28 they're going to have the pdfu data available they're going to be talking about they're going to be potentially releasing the results and they're probably going to get approved by the fda and if that can potentially affect the stock price they can definitely see if we can see a spike up to you know two dollars and fifty cents that's ideal but the stock been pulling back to the downside significantly and as i mentioned before even though these companies might have this positive news coming out you know it's always going to be a 50 percent chance of, of them spiking up or spiking down so that's why we need to really manage our risk and really position ourselves based off of that and as you can see we also had another company which is uh have an fda related news coming out on monday which is a tcda they have it actually on uh, august 22 so we'll see how the company's going to react but as you can see this company is going to be you know having a drug passed by the fda like really really soon like but the stock is definitely just crashing eventually like it went down like 8.25 percent so this thing happened you know so even though they have positive earnings reports or positive fda related news come out you know the stock can definitely react to the downside too so make sure to you know yes it can definitely move to the upside but i understand it's always 50 50 there's a chance that it might not work out you know the only thing that you we can you know focus on is just to manage our risk and position ourselves properly now let's move on and see what are the top companies are going to be reporting earnings for monday and for this upcoming week so as you can see these are going to be the companies that report earnings before market open we have after close also on tuesday we got best buy and we also have on uh, wednesday before market open we got dicks we got express and we also have on thursday we got alta beauty that uh, that stock definitely makes a move we got td ameritrade and we got hp so these are the major companies that are reporting earnings and uh you know the major ones the retail ones actually can potentially move like the dollar tree the dollar generals you know they can potentially make a significant move but you know all these major companies a lot of people pay attention to they already reported their earnings you know like the facebook's of the world like the apple the tesla the amazon you know but the next week of course we have all of these uh, stock split companies that are just trending to the upside we got of course we got tesla we got apple you know they're going to be the ones that are going to be probably making significant moves either to the upside or having a slightly pullback we never know but the overall trend has been going to the upside so we're definitely going to keep an eye on those stocks too and these are the companies that are also going to be having ipo this is going to be the first one's going to be btaqu which is going to be the price range is ten dollars we have another company hcdi ticker symbol and the price range is going to be between six to eight dollars and another company prfx going to be nasdaq the price range that is going to ipo is between eight to ten dollars and picu also on nasdaq and the price range is going to be ten dollars and we also have xpev which is a new york stock exchange the price range is going to be between 11 to 13 dollars guys so keep an eye on these companies you want to get involved with them but now let's look at what is going to be the important economic reports that can potentially affect the stock market for tomorrow for august 24 we got at 8 30 a.m we got the chicago fed national activity index it's going to be for the period of july the previous one was 4.1 so we'll see if this report can potentially affect the stock market guys but however definitely pay attention to all of the companies earnings reports the fda companies guys and also make sure you have a solid plan before you get involved in any of these companies and if you have any questions any comments make sure you drop in the comment section below and if you want to sign up for patreon or join the discord chat or open up a Weibo account there's going to be links available in the description box below you can support the channel by using those links guys i'll catch you guys on tomorrow let's get it have a wonderful day